Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. And do not call your local fire department. I am just smudging a little bit to draw in the positive energies, clear out the negative energies. Now, before I get started, there's a couple things I've been wanting to go over. Um, do me a favor. Uh, say a prayer for uh, Thomas. He's the moderator of our group page, and he helps out with with uh, Jesse and Marie and so many other people. He's uh, he's uh, feeling a bit under the weather right now. Um, so if you all could say a prayer for him, I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully he'll he'll get well soon. Anyway, here's another uh, steal and deal. It's uh, a blue pendulum to go with uh, my board. But uh, I'm not going to do that right now. But that's what that's for. My other one, um, I don't know. It's shorter. From tip to tip. It's about... Uh, this new one's about that much longer. So uh, it'll be good for this board. It'll be able to swing more with this small chain. It's got limited swing. Plus the uh, the weight of it's different too. I probably still use that one for the runes though. I like the feel of it for the runes. I haven't tried this officially, so I'm not sure what kind of feelings I should expect from it. I just know how the the runes let me know, or the pendulum lets me know about the runes. I know that feeling, but I'm not sure what kind of feeling to expect when doing the yes or no questions and things like that. And I know I I never did finish cleaning this up around here. I did the, the the central area, but I still have all around it to do and stuff. And I will get to that. I am just slow that way. Temperature's going up. I heard it was supposed to get to sixty one. It would be so nice to be able to get out and do some taping. It's sunny out so far. Knock on wood. Okay. And I want to show you all something else, something new. That was also a steel ordeal. Let me... And there's the back of the cards. So yes, these are zombie tarot cards. And I thought these just sounded so cool. I don't know when though I'd really get a chance to read them. What occasion would be appropriate other than Halloween? Maybe we'll do a special zombie Tuesday or something. I don't know. Of course, if there's any day I'm going to feel a zombie on, it's most likely going to be a Monday. So, let me put this out of the way. Let's get to a reading.
and I haven't really had a chance to get a feel for these yet, but I'll uh, give it my best shot. All right. Here we go. This card is the Nine of Pentacles. Mansions burn just as well as any other building. Everyone thought the rich and famous were safe from infection. Large plots of well-tended land, high metal fences with barbed wire to keep fans and the tabloids out. Gates required special security codes to open and close. Armed bodyguards patrolling the edges with large dogs trained to sniff out intruders. Cameras exposing every dark corner inside and outside of the large homes. Everyone expected the rich to get special treatment when the outbreak began. Fans assembled by the gates begged to be left, left in, but it was all for nothing. The virus found a way inside, leaving the vein in agony. The disease turned the beauty into decay. When the undead found a way out, what was once covid it became just another sign of death. Mansions burn just as well as any other building. Never forget that. So, what it's saying is that the Nine of Pentacles is a card of comfort, luxury, and attainment. Here we have a country idol, a manor house protected by hills before us. This is everything she's cultivated herself. A rich and plentiful land. Her dress is red for passion and energy. It offers a connection with the womb and is implicit fertility. This woman is fertile in her thoughts and tends her garden with the utmost love and care. And if you notice carefully, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but uh, look at her butt. There's a heart. That is the symbol of love and it refers to the goddess Venus for her ruling planet and also the symbol of the female. Okay, this, warm, this woman guards against materialism and egotism. Her Kabbalistic and astrological associations account for this level of self-awareness. Luxury-loving, passionate Venus is tempered by Virgo's conservatism and attention to detail. The card's Tree of Life sphere, Yesod, means foundation. Yesod is associated with the moon, ruler of the unconscious mind. The card's number is nine, or three sets of three. Three is a dynamic number, and when multiplied by itself, symbolizes intense productivity. It also holds a message of the three aspects of the goddesses, maiden, mother, and crone, as well as the integration of mind, body, and spirit. In the Nine of Pentacles, this can show that the lady's financial security feeds her mentally and spiritually, allowing her to live abundantly and give generously to others. The Nine ushers in a time of financial stability. You can feel safe in your home and proud of your achievements. At least, you can surround yourself with the material objects you love, and you may find yourself redecorating your home or tending your garden or yard. It's time to appreciate all you have, so leisure time beckons. Treat yourself to whatever makes you happy and enjoy the fruits of your work. You will be able to focus on your own needs without feeling guilty. The nine also brings a sense of serenity and relaxation, so the card predicts you can feel at home and at one with yourself.
The nine ushers in a time of financial stability, you can feel safe in your home and proud of your achievements. At last, you can surround yourself with the material objects you love, and you may find yourself redecorating your home or tending your garden or yard. It's time to appreciate all that you have, so leisure time beckons. Treat yourself to whatever makes you happy and enjoy the fruits of your work. You will be able to focus on your own needs without feeling guilty. The nine also brings a sense of serenity and relaxation, so the card predicts you can feel at home and at one with yourself. This card comes up in a reading to show a woman of independent means who is generous and well-balanced. In this way, the nine of pentacles is similar to the queen of pentacles, although the queen's influence is generally greater. In work matters, the card can predict financial reward, such as a bonus for your efforts. And key words on this are confidence and security, a thriving lifestyle, access to everything you ever wanted, wealth attained and making hard decisions, and confidence. Now this deck, two... is another steel deal for the record I also got the Egyptian tarot and the universal Celtic tarot well, anyway um I hope you all have a blessed Friday. You made it to the weekend. Woohoo! Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, bye bye.